Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry of Mowers and Blowers again. Thought I'd give you a uh, update on what's going on. So my uh, John Deere got a uh, new seat cover to cover up that mess of a seat that I had before. It doesn't fit perfectly, but you know what? It's way better than it cracked, you know? And it was on like uh, 20 bucks on eBay. It's a good deal. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this now. It's uh, been listed and it's uh, ready to go, repainted and uh, solenoid fixed and stuff. And uh, I was riding it the other day and uh, I almost ran into my car because the brakes were lousy, terrible, you know. So I'm, I have a feeling it needs new brake pads. So I ordered uh, these brake pads here on eBay. It was um, six bucks each. I think uh, two for ten. That's a pretty good deal small tiny little brake pads first uh, I'm going to uh, determine which side it's on and after looking a little bit uh, I believe those are the brakes right there I've never changed lawnmower brakes before but I don't think it's that difficult I'm trying to find it for you guys that's it right there see those are the brakes So I'm going to be doing that today. Uh, first, I'm going to jack it up so I can remove that wheel so I can, you know, work. You know, you, you can't stick your hand in there or do anything else uh, without taking the wheel off. I hope the wheel comes off well because uh, most rear wheels have are fused or rusted to the uh, transaxle and it's difficult to get off. I hope it comes off well. But uh, anyway, so Husburn is also ready. I also got a seat cover for it because it was missing a cushion and I made my own cushion, but I got a seat cover for it. You know, I don't like how it wrinkles up like that, but you know what? It looks kind of plush, you know? Anyway, that looks good. Two tubes in the back, so those tires don't leak anymore. Uh, brushed on paint job. Regardless, it still looks good. I like it. Deck's been put on with those fabricated parts. Repainted with uh, undercoating. This engine's always run great. 24 twin V twin overhead valve in tech 24 really good headlights work it's good to go so that's good to go once I fix the brakes that's good to go and uh, my beauty over here is ready to go as soon as I get a engine for it still looking for it I uh, got a new solenoid to replace the one I used for that one. So anyway, uh, I gotta go take my son somewhere right now. But when I come back, I'm gonna change the brakes on my John Deere STX30. So I just jacked it up, and just in case I have problems with getting the wheel off, I uh, PB blastered it. So now it'll soak for a while, and I'll be back in like an hour or two, and we'll see if this just pops off, you know. Okay, so I'm back after a couple of hours of uh, soaking. First, I'm going to take off the uh, cap here with this pliers. That was easy. And looks like it's one of those C clips. Uh, e clips. Take that off. Oh, well, there was a C clip. You need a special tool for that. Gotta have one of these. Gotta make it wider. Okay. Yep. Doesn't look like it's uh, even loose. I was worried about that because uh, once they're fused on there, man, they won't come off unless you heat it up and do a ton of banging. what I'm doing now is uh, I've almost got it off uh, first I used a hammer and I just uh, lightly tapped the middle part and just uh, get it moving a little you know as it was starting to I took this chisel and I put it in there while I bend down I put my knee here and go outwards with it you know what I'm saying as if it's pulling so as this is in there like that and it's uh pulling you know what I'm saying my knee is like 
pushing it out. Then rotate a little bit more with your knee and like pushing it outward as if your hands were pushing on the, uh, pulling on the tire going outwards. You know what? I think it's, I think it might be loose. I think it might be loose. Success, success. I tell you, we've got success. Uh, I don't see a keyway in there. Do you? I'm gonna have to try to find that keyway because without a keyway, I don't see how it moves. You know what I mean? It's in there. Now I got room to uh, check out them brakes. It looks like uh, we're gonna have to remove that pin there and then that that bolt over there or nut Oops. so I uh, removed the pin removed that bolt and we have one more bolt over here that one's pretty stubborn Gonna have to get a ratchet. Can you say screwed? Yep. Busted a screw. And busted my cheap Harbor Freight tools ratchet too. That is one strong screw. Oh boy. I suppose I could try to drill that out. And maybe I can find a bolt that will, uh, you know, still has some tr thread in it. But I think I still have to drill that out. What do you guys think? I think so. Anyway, that was uh, there. I'm going to do this slowly so I know what I'm doing. Not really. I believe here's the caliper. I think I have to remove that, get the caliper off. My ratchet was able to get that loose. Look at that. Comes right off. Look at that. The old brakes, brake pads. They look like they're still okay, it's just cracked. I wonder if uh one of the brake pads was okay just wasn't tightening, you know? Like this thing looks kind of funny. A spline on the inside. See that? Spline gears. This is a little tougher than I thought. <laughs> it's like I always say, you know, something that's supposed to be super easy ends up to be kind of long because, you know, you've, it's the first time you're doing it. The old ones in there, I'm going to pry that out and see the condition. You know, man, I know this one's cracked in half, but it should have been able to stop it. It wasn't stopping at all. I have a feeling the caliper is messed up. Look at this one. This this has somewhere, but look, it's, it's 
pretty thick. This one's good. So I think the caliper had a problem. It wasn't tightening, you know, when you put the brake on. That's what it was. Brakes, brake pads are still okay. I have a feeling it has something to do with that. Of course, now I busted that bolt on there. Right there. I busted that. So, I don't know, should I, should I try to get this out? Should I extract this? I was inspecting the caliper and uh, basically I took this plate off on the inside there and it has like these two piston looking things. I'm not sure whether or not they act like real pistons on a caliper. Um, I don't know if this and this actually move. It would make sense that it does. You know what I'm saying? If I push these out, right, and that bar there, that mechanism moves from this bar back and forth, back and forth, it's supposed to push this in more, you know, and that way it pushes the brakes out, the brake pads out. I think because they've been seized on here, at least that's what it looks like, seized, they weren't moving. Therefore, when you did apply the brakes, right, nothing happened because it shows that something seized because these brake pads are fine, right, other than the fact that it's cracked. But I have a feeling that these two pistons are supposed to move and they're just seized in there and doesn't move because it doesn't move. It wasn't pushing any brake pads to make it stop. I mean, that's my assessment. I'm no real mechanic, you know what I'm saying, but I've done my car brakes before and uh, you gotta have a moving piston, following what I'm saying? So I'm thinking I'm gonna try to earl that up and bang it a little and get it moving. Get it moving so well that it actually works as a piston. Uh, at least I'll uh, try. I just put some PB Blaster penetrating oil in a pool there and let it penetrate the two pistons and then I'm going to use some kind of a thing maybe a chisel or something round and use a hammer and bang that in a little bit tap it a little bit and see if it moves so I've laid my uh, two hammers there so uh, they're level like that it's got a slight depression in my crack of the ground here so that bolt won't get damaged and basically, I'm just going to uh, get like this bolt. I have no idea where I got it from. I don't think I'm going to be using it. I don't recall ever using one of these to take off. But even if I damage it, I don't care. So anyway, I'm going to just lightly tap this and try to get it to move a little. Just as I expected, it went down. So uh, I'm going to bang it from the other side, back and forth, back and forth, until they start moving somewhat freely, and then clean it up and grease it up. I bet you that's the reason why uh, the brakes didn't work, is because these caliper pistons were seized. Here's the other side. As you can see, the pistons popped out more. So I'm going to bang those back in to loosen them up. They're really seized in there. I mean, I was banging pretty hard to get those back down again, but they're moving now. See how they pop back out like that? I uh, bagged them and uh, they came out. So now I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna clean that up, you know, the rust and stuff, and uh, give it some earl, and uh, get a wired bristle brush and get all that rust off so it'll freely move inside the uh, caliper. Got my uh, thing here, getting it done. So that's the uncleaned one. This is the new one that I just cleaned. Pretty big difference, huh? This will slide into that hole much easier. Let me do the other one now. Much cleaner now. Dudes, I can just take my fingers and push them. <laughs> Now, now I think the uh, brake pads will be pushed, you know what I'm saying? Before they weren't even being pushed, that's why. So that's the, uh, that's the fix right there, you know? The uh, pistons were seized. Problem is though, I still have that 
strip bolt there. I don't know how I'm going to secure the caliper onto that strip screw. I uh, can't get it out. And uh, uh, I have a feeling I might have to just weld a bolt on there, you know? Make it permanent. So now I know the lever is going to work. And actually push it out, you know? See how that works. Alright, so I think I got it all squared away, guys. So I did a tack weld on that bolt, and then I uh, couldn't get this thing back on because of the tack, right? So I had to smooth it out. Um, it's on there, but uh, this one's really holding it on nice and tight, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about that one. But you know what, man? Um, I can only do what I can do, right? And uh, it seems good. So when I, I can move the disc with my hand slightly, and then when I apply the brake, I can't move it. So I'm thinking that works. So I'm going to put the wheel back on and give it a try. Once you get the wheel on, keyway popped out. So you got to kind of tuck it in there. Tap it in there with a screwdriver and a light taps with a hammer. I thought maybe there was a washer, but I guess there isn't because this was on really tight. If there was a washer, there's no way I would have gotten that on, so I guess there's no washer. That's it. I think the jack down. Give her a ride. Okay, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Yeah! Nobody. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Follow me on Instagram at Mowers Blowers. Check out my website, MowersBlowers.com. Subscribe, like, and follow. Appreciate the support, guys.